Hello everyone, just a quick look today at what I found at the thrift store when I went out this morning and a reminder to check out the series of videos I released over the weekend talking about my 50 favorite movies of all time, split it into several different videos, trying to uh, stretch it out a bit. The first part is definitely the longest. Uh, I think it actually gets even better and more interesting as it goes though, just uh, my personal opinion, but definitely check out that series if you've been uh, waiting around for it. I think it turned out pretty great and uh, lots of positive feedback already, so I'd like to have as many people see those as possible. Share the videos if you can. We've gone to what I found today. One PS1 manual in good shape, Oddworld Abe's Exodus, and the way video games are going, even loose manuals, unless it's like a sports game or whatever, are pretty much always worth checking out. It has you know everything in it, it's complete, it's in uh, good shape. And because it was bargain room, this was like less than 10 cents. It was like probably five or six cents. So worth checking out. Uh, God of War on the PS2, the original one here. Then we have Dave Matthews Band. Uh, looks like a concert. And a couple more just random DVDs. A bunch of Mel Brooks comedies in these slim case designs. These are from a Mel Brooks collection. I actually have like the full box set and whatever these originally came from. So worth grabbing those, especially by weight. A few books, not a whole lot. One more of these Rainbow Magic books, and we have some more of those to put up. Uh, Blood Air. This is one that's probably going to go up on Pango. We recently started and we had the eBay stores, our main thing, we started listing some stuff on Macari, and then uh, Pango is one that is fairly new, fairly small, and is mostly, I think it's entirely a book oriented, and it is uh, mostly, I think from what I've been seeing, a lot of big readers, kind of a way of exchanging uh, books that you don't want to read anymore, try and get some funds for more books for your, your own library, whatever, but we started listening a few things up on there. And then these Disney yearbooks, 1988, which are, can be fairly interesting little ones here. Or if you're a big Disney fan, maybe you want to definitely have the year that uh, you were born kind of thing. And then 89, found those. That was it for the bargain bins. Went into the main room, wasn't a whole lot, but I did find uh, for five bucks and it scanned at three dollars which was nice so it was even better because uh, goodwill now started using stickers where instead of hand entry the prices they're scanning them but it's a bit of a pain because if something doesn't have a sticker they have to call a manager over to put in a code just to hand enter a price it's the whole thing that is ridiculous and the computer's a problem so it's a pain but godfather part one two and three the whole trilogy box set loose would not have picked this up in a million years because they are very very common but this is a completely sealed box set. There's you know, the Paramount logo and everything. Well worth picking up because sealed VHS have been going up in price just about anything. It's to the point now where you have the obvious ones like big horror movies or whatever sealed are worth a ton of money or um, very like favorite classic 80s movies. That kind of stuff has always and will always go for a lot. But it's to the point now where even some fairly common movies that you wouldn't think would be worth a whole lot can go for like 10, 20 bucks if they're sealed, just like very common movies on VHS. Uh, so definitely worth picking up sealed. And that box set, you know, paid less than five dollars, and it's probably going to sell for about 40 or 50 or more. I mean, it's there are a bunch. There are some listed for 100 right now. Well, that'll get anywhere near that, but still, it's worth picking up sealed VHS unless it's something like completely, you know, weird. Uh, and then the other thing I picked up took a little bit of a chance on because it had a worn out price sticker took it up to the front to ask how much they were going to ask for it looks like it's a good shape but at least like powers on uh we will see what happens they only charge me four dollars for it but this little sharper image portable projector uh we will see what goes on has the composite and the headphone jack the volume and some color contrast it looks like it might be okay we'll have to see you know, as the handle and everything so i will check it out and see what is going on with this but when they said like four bucks i'm like all right i will take a chance and see what is going on with that it could be fun to play around with so that was what i found this morning i hope you guys are having a great week it's just kind of the beginning of the week uh, and really kind of getting busy here trying to spread out to those other formats a little bit uh, just for a little bit extra since i've been working on the 
reselling and stuff like a lot more hours. It's good to branch out a bit, uh, especially with all the books and everything I'm getting. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out those videos I put up this weekend. I think they're great, and we'll have more content like this coming later in the week. Just a quick test of this projector. I thought I'd throw it up on here. I just step two feet to the left and plug something in. The fan is loud as hell. So it's good that it has a headphone jack. I'm just shining it on the couch here, just kind of testing out, make sure it's working. That's about it. So it seems to be turning on, and I just plugged in quickly the PS2. That was right at hand. Turn it on, and we'll see what happens. All right, actually seems to be working fine. And considering I'm just blasting it up onto the, the uh, couch here, it's actually fairly clear. I'm putting it up on an actual you know, surface that I would be projecting it on would be a lot better. Uh, yeah, the fan is super loud. It's probably showing up even louder on the camera than it actually is. That type of noise, like any kind of wind sound or whatever, so it tends to be really loud on this camera. Uh, but yeah, aside from the loud fan, this is actually kind of cool. A uh, nice little portable projector. And again, if I were ever to use this, I would definitely use the headphone jack, I would think. But uh, it's a decent little set. And of course, you have the you can adjust the height and everything with the, the little carrying handle. So for four bucks, uh, not bad at all.